All right, so I wanted to show you a quick, um, kind of cool hidden feature in uh, iOS that I discovered a few months ago that's helped me read a lot more, a lot faster with a lot more comprehension. And it is just an accessibility feature. Uh, it's built into iOS, I'm not sure about Android, but it's in, it's in the accessibility options. So if you go in here and go to, in your settings, sorry, so we're in settings, and then we go to uh, accessibility, and I know you can't see this, but it is right here. Um, accessibility, and then go into uh, spoken content. You can see I'm kind of highlighting it right here. So if you flip on the speak screen, you can uh, flip on uh, speak selection as well if you want. And then you can see swipe down with two fingers on the top of the screen to hear the content on the screen. Um, so that will, if you take your two fingers and just uh, a little ways apart, and again, I know you can't see it, but swipe down, it will start reading the screen. So let's try it out. So with those flipped on, um, you can do a different voice. You can... Um, I, oh, one other thing before we do it, highlight the content. I love the content being highlighted as I read along is super helpful. So, uh, do that, the highlight content as well. So you have the speak screen on, you have the highlight content on. Now let's go to an article. Um, what do you know? It's one that, uh, we wrote and here's what we were doing. I, uh, so you're going to wherever you are on the screen, your is where it'll start. So I'm gonna just uh, start, I'm gonna use my two fingers and scroll down and let's see if it'll start. Remember the last time you published a piece of educational content and sat there, kind of squinting awesome. at it with so, your head tilted, questioning I'm it. I'm gonna pause it. You can move this around, okay? And you can increase the speed or um, decrease it. It'll minimize here, which is really nice. And you can click this to start it up again. So let's start it. Turn it up a little. Helpfulness, but just hit publish anyway. Yet the time. Well, it costs you a bunch of leads. See how it's if you want your next it. educational content to not only generate more leads, but even so have your prospects sharing fire the emojis in the comments, you're you in the want. right place. So what are the strengths of educational content? And with 79% of businesses flooding the internet with it right now, how does yours stand out the key qualities of genuinely helpful customer ed or you can education? Let let's cover a quick. Quick list like of qualities to help to your content asset shine. Good educational content and is you can objective. See it it's good it. to take a stance. And, and when educational content frames a product or service it, in a biased really nice. as a message, it's more like pre-educational we'll content. It. So this is awesome if I like uh, might be cleaning the kitchen or something, or uh, but just want to throw in and listen to an article um, rather than having to actually read it. I just throw on my earpods and play it, and it'll play the article. So you can do that with anything. Um, any uh, post, any piece of content. It doesn't work on like, uh, the only one it doesn't work on is like protected apps like Kindle and stuff, but any article online, you'll be able to use this with. So hopefully that helps.